Alright, alright, what's up, what's up? Let me know. I know I usually don't do this. Like, right now, I'm getting ready to record a skit. I'm here to talk about just a little bit of the Logan Paul, Jake Paul founda uh, Foundation. <laughs> I'm about to get some of this Thatcher Primer and prime this shit, because it's not looking good. Y'all see that beef on Twitter last night? So... Logan Paul tweets out, and I think he put it on Instagram too. He was like, I bet you anything, okay, Sai so tries to skirt this fight. I was like, that was interesting. Because we've been seeing everything that's been going on. And so they get into a little Twitter spat. I'll put them up on the screen now. They're going back and forth, back and forth. And then, Team Star on Drama Alert was talking about um, how uh, he'd rather see a Jake Paul okay, side fight, right? But let's be honest, guys. After February, no one was interested in seeing the Logan Paul KSI rematch that much. Like, let's just be honest. Let's cut the shit for a second. I wanted to see that rematch. Oh, it's about they fight. So anyways, let me tell you the real tea. I became more interested in Jake Paul, KSI fight, a long ass time ago. You know why? Because this rematch would happen, but JJ would make sure it didn't happen until he was ready. Obviously. He just did two big ass events last year. He's gonna want a break for a little while. So I do believe, yes, he was probably uh, trying to dodge the fight a little bit. I think he was trying to dodge the fight a little bit. Like, let's let's be honest. But that's understandable. I get it. He wasn't. Because you could tell, even in JJ's videos, he's still wearing them tight-ass shirts and stuff uh, back in January. When he was training. I don't think he was, like, training, training. But you know what? Doesn't make sense to me. Logan keeps saying... That, uh, you know, there was supposed to be a fight in February and it's KSI's fault while there's not. But what event? They had no venue booked. So, what what fight was going to happen? If you don't got a venue, it's going to end up like fucking Tamacon with a lot more people. And that's just the fucking T on that. There's no way around it. There's no way past it. It's just what would have happened. Uh... I was watching the Logan Paul Impulsive, uh, Impulsive, the podcast, and let me tell you, Logan, that shit is fire. I'm not even a Logan Paul fan. Well, I guess I am now. So, like, when Jake was, like, talking all that shit on JJ, I knew, like, Jake knew what he was doing. He was planting seeds. That's what we call it before you start growing your shit. If you grow corn, you're going to plant your seeds. You're going to do whatever it takes to get that. Jake even said, I believe in the interview, quote me if I'm wrong, that if he was in the ring with KSI, he would have ended him and not get, you know, he wouldn't, there wouldn't be a rematch. Jake's talking all this shit, and he posted, what do you think's gonna happen? Like, yeah, you want the fight, but let's face it, JJ's right. Jake is fucking popping right now. Now, he died down a little bit, but he back at that motherfucker. And he's going to everybody, because... Jake wants it. Logan has been trying to be nice guy, which is a good move on his part, though. Like, don't think I'm saying, like, Logan's this, Logan's that. It's a good move from everything that happened last year around this time. So, like, I'm not shading Logan because it's a smart move, but he's not really clapping back. The only thing he says, he says a, some little sly stuff. Every now and then on Impulsive about JJ. Instead of just full-fledged coming for him. I don't know why he doesn't, didn't just do that. That's why I kept thinking the whole time. I was like, dude, you want this rematch. You know what you gotta do. Piss him off. Let's be honest. Yeah, JJ wants to wait till November. Piss him off. Like, it's not that difficult. But I feel like Logan is also not that... I don't know. Obviously, I don't know them. But Logan doesn't seem like that type of person anymore. Like, back then, he was in a darker time. He's kind of figuring out himself now. So, you know, it makes more sense. He's now, like, you know, 
trying not to be that guy and everything. I get down. Down that neck, ladies. And I agree with Keemstar if you haven't seen the drama alert. Jake, damn sure, will get down and dirty, talk to shit, because that's what he wants. He wants to fight. Soldier Boy might back out, because it's still in Soldier Boy's camp. Soldier Boy was supposed to sign a long time ago. But I don't even think Jake should fight Soldier Boy in the, to begin with. Because Soldier Boy is not nearly as big as Jake. He's way shorter, way lighter. Even if he bulks, like, he'll be so much more behind. It just would be a dumbass move on Soldier Boy's part. I feel like this fight could have been confirmed. I feel like if they moved up the date past November, the only logical time would be the summer. Uh, believe... Oh, that's another point I was going to bring up. Isn't it crazy that first... Um, JJ addressed the fight and the issues they were having and made a whole video on his main channel with more subscribers against Logan Paul. Uh, like, his main channel, he's been posting a lot on his second channel if you don't follow JJ. Main channel, two months ago, he made a video addressing the Logan Paul situation. Logan never said anything besides a couple things on Impulsive against that video. Like, he didn't make a video. He didn't say anything. He didn't back himself up. But all of a sudden, two weeks ago, Logan makes a video on it. And would you look at that? JJ clapped right back. Like, he, he was ready for it. And he said something right then and there instead of letting it sit for a while. But Logan let it sit for a while. And that made me think, like, why would you do that? Like, if you if I'm trying to fight someone, and I want the shit to get set up now, I'm gonna say something right then, right? I don't know. You guys, let me know what your opinions on the fight. It just seems like, I feel like they both, in the public eye, because their fans want this shit. More than them, I believe. Like, I know they want their revenge. I know Logan wants his damn revenge, and so does JJ. But, like, I'm sure everybody and their mama, JJ, Logan, Jake, are about to be making videos on this. I'm sure Jake right now is trying to make sure everything is cool with Logan, because he's not going to accept that without Logan. Logan's not going to let him accept that. Like, does Jake need Logan's permission? Hell no. But Jake, like, let's be honest, he is a... Jake is a family-oriented guy, and there's nothing wrong with that. I like, that is, like, one thing I do respect about him. He's family-oriented, and you know what that means? That means if his brothers are, like, what the fuck, dude, like, don't fight him. I'm supposed to fight him. Even though Jake wants that fight, he's not going to fight him. I know he's not. I feel like the only logical thing Jake can do is to just... Be like, Logan, let's just cut JJ out. But yeah, it'll make a little less. There's not any YouTubers with that amount of subscribers that are trying to fight. I feel like they'll have to lower the tier, and that's going to suck. But Jake's not going to start beef with his brother again. There's no way in hell. I don't see that happening. I think he's going to try to talk to Logan. I think Jake's going to be like, Logan, let's like talk about it, discuss it, talk about our options and everything. Logan's a little pissed right now, which I will be too. But hey, Logan tried to cut JJ out. Remember his video? He was like, I will be fighting someone this year. I hope it's you, JJ. And I know Logan hasn't looked for anyone else because he wants to fight JJ. But without a motherfucking venue, my nigga, I don't see it happening. Any time, Logan could have fought someone else, could have said fuck it, but he wants that sweet, sweet revenge. Not just for himself, for all his fans, for his peoples. He wants to perform better, especially because, you know, he likes boxing. And I, like, honestly, if they wanted this shit to be solved, they could have done that. Everybody just bullshitting right now. Like, I know they wait in their Lunday teams talk, but you saw. Logan hit, a uh, text KSI that night, remember? Before the match, JJ tweeted it, and Logan was telling him how he's not gonna get no sleep. He's gonna be up all night. 
thinking about that ass whooping he was about to get, which it turned out to be a draw. Should have been, but it was. Let's get over it. They have each other's numbers. Why not just text each other, right? Why not just be like, JJ, like, you know, are my team sending something today? Let's get it signed. Why not be like, Logan, I, I want to do it this time, November, because I'm going on tour because we waited past February. I had to get shit popping. Like, time stops for nobody. So that's what I'm doing. And so the only time I'll be available is this time. That's the best time for me. I feel like if you want the fight, like really want the fight, you'll find time for it. Let's just be honest about that from the get-go. Jake hasn't responded to KSI on Twitter yet. The last thing I saw, JJ, KSI said, um, Jake Paul, anyway, anyway, Jake Paul, if you want the uh, uh, van, it's yours. I think he's done playing. I think Logan's done playing. I'm like, finally we gonna get somewhere. Because if both y'all motherfuckers finally done playing, we're going to get somewhere past this. Because we just going to finally find out, is this shit happening or not? JJ did say after he fights Jake, he's down to dance with Logan again. But Logan's like, nah, motherfucker, you going to finish what you started. A lot of people say KSI is running. I don't think he is. Let's be honest, Jake's the more popping one right now. Why would... If he fought Jake, if he fought Jake, anyway, that was enough ranting. I know, I still got a little white on, I got to get a powder brush and dust that off. But anyway, point is, uh, I think Logan, the reason he's pissed, because, well, one, he won a rematch. I think Logan, the way he wanted it to happen, be like, I solidified it and proved that I could beat you, even though you have more training than me. And now my little brother, just to rub it in that much more, my little brother is going to whoop your ass too. And JJ is just like, you wasted too much time. Like, we could have had this shit settled. We could have had a date set. Even though you're booking a venue and the licenses and stuff takes four months, you're not communicating where Jake is a businessman. And I know he's going to get back to me. I know he's going to get back to me. So, I don't know. I'm interested. I feel like Jake is going to feel like Jake. It's going to come at Logan and be like, look, listen, if I fight him and then you fight him again, even if Jake wins, I don't know. Let's say Jake does win, hypothetically. Um, if Jake wins and Jake gets the belt, Logan's not going to box his own brother. I think that's the way Logan's thinking about it, or at least he's going to say he's thinking about it. But Logan doesn't think Jake could win against KSI. I don't think, I feel like Logan thinks that because... Logan doesn't think that Jake could win against him. I'm interested. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I almost forgot. This has been Zilla. Ain't nobody Ella.